I'm Michelle Zhou, and uh, I'm a senior research manager here at uh, IBM Research Omden. We're building a platform that uses the big data generated by people to uh, gain a deeper understanding of uh, individuals, including their personalities, the motivations, and values. So our work actually is built on top of this line of the studies called the psycholinguistic studies, which actually tells us the words we use every day are powerful reflections of our personality and our social world. We actually developed a set of people analytics engines, if you will, that automatically actually derive those personality traits from the data, especially right now, the textual data generated by people. So for example, this text data could include their tweets, their Facebook posts, or even their emails or online chats. Currently, we are able to derive three types of main traits, including the big five personalities and the fundamental needs of the people have of the people who have actually expressed as well as their basic values and beliefs. We believe this type of discovery will really enable individuals to gain a much better understanding of themselves and use that understanding to better their lives either professionally or personally. So give me an example. Professionally, they could actually find out a better job, better team, and even a better management to fit. And uh, personally, they can use this, uh, share this information with their pro product and service providers so they can actually uh, receive a more, much more personalized services and products. The big part of research is to figure out uh, what type of words are highly correlated with what type of a personality traits. So for example, the words like uh, within, include, in, they are called the words category called inclusive, right? So this category of words actually is highly correlated with somebody who has a personality trait uh, very high in agreeableness. So we have built a set of this, uh, uh, if you will, kind of a psycholinguistic lexicons uh, and then use that uh, to predict, uh, to actually examine the use of the words and their frequencies and then use that to predict uh, the level of the personality traits of each individual. We have focused on deriving three types of personality traits. So one big type is called uh, big five personality traits, uh, which is perhaps the most well-known and most uh, used uh, psychological model to measure a person's personality. The second dimension we have actually uh, 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 studied, analyzed, is called uh, uh, human, uh, human actually um, needs, uh, kind of fundamental needs. This is basically uh, characterize the person what they desire, what the person, what he or she desires. So the a third type of trait, a third type of uh, traits we have been modeling is called human basic values, which are used to assess an individual's uh, beliefs and motivators. So for example, some people are very much motivated by doing a greater good for the world and for other people. And then we call them have a high level of self transcendence. But some people are very motivated by fulfill their own self actually uh, uh, success, right? Uh, very ambitious. So we call them have a high level of self actually enhancement. So as you can see, people are motivated by different reasons and by different factors. So if you combine those together, you really can get a very good understanding who this person is and what motivates this person. Then you can use that uh, perhaps uh, to better really this person's life. They could make a better and wiser career choices or make a better actually even product uh, and the commercial product and the service choices. We got many questions. People always ask us, so how good are your analytics, right? So we have, uh, done a series of validation studies uh, to figure out uh, the quality of our analytics. One of the studies uh, is to ask uh, a set of uh, people who volunteers. So we compare the two fingerprints derived from two sources. One's by questionnaire, another by, by their tweets. And we found out that the results currently were were very encouraged because uh, we have 80% uh, of a confidence saying that uh, for those uh, sample population, their traits actually are quite uh, similar, correlated with each other. And uh, for, 80, for over 80% of the population we have tested. So we are actually uh, uh, working with uh, uh, different clients, uh, IBM's clients, right, in different industries. And uh, we're actually uh, uh, trying to help them to gain a better understanding of their customers, right? Of course, uh, uh, at the 
uh, by asking their customers to opt in with their information because we wanted to make this very transparent, make it open, and to let th their customers know what the benefits might be, right? This is a very new technology. This is the Crescent Bay prototype and the experience was the best Oculus or really any virtual reality experience that I've ever had. Uh, I've tried DK.